Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all well and having a really good day so far. If you're new here then welcome, I'm Emma and I make beauty and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Today's video is a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. This is what I would call a pillow talk evening look. Um, I recently did a Charlotte Tilbury haul and I picked up the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette and the Pillow Talk Intense Blush as well as the Medium Lipstick and Liner. So I wanted to incorporate that into a look for you and if you'd like to see how I achieve this look then please keep on watching. I'm starting with Wonder Glow and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Um, it's a little bit more subtle than the Hollywood Flawless Filter so for that reason I can use a little bit more product. For foundation today I'm using the Magic Foundation in the shade 3 Fair and I'm applying this with the HD brush from Iconic London. These are becoming very fastly one of my favourite foundation brushes and you can just see how easily that foundation is blending out using this brush. For concealer I'm using the Magic Away in the shade 3 Fair and I'm just going to pat that directly under the eye area and use this smaller HD brush to blend that out. I'm also going to bring it down onto the cheek where I have a little bit more redness to cover. And I'm also going to put a little bit on my chin because sometimes I find that I lose coverage um, in this area during the day. And I'm going to set the base with my favourite pressed powder which is the Airbrush Flawless Finish. This is also in the shade Fair. And for bronzer today I'm using the Airbrush Bronzer in the shade Fair. And this is a beautiful formula, it is the same sort of formula as the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. It's very finely milled but it goes onto the skin beautifully. I also have this bronzer in the shade 2 and I prefer to use that shade in the summer months when I want that bit more bronze look um, but in the winter I think this shade is perfect because it's bringing a little bit of colour back into my complexion but it's not making me look orange. It's just a very natural sun kiss glow. So that's the bronzer now applied and I'm just going to jump off camera, do my brows and I'll be right back. That's brows now done and because we're doing a stronger eye look today I personally prefer a stronger brow but that's down to your own preference. For eyes today I'm going to start by using the Eyes to Mesmerise in the Champagne shade. I'm going to take this from the inner corner about halfway across the lid. So starting with the inner corner I'm just going to blend that onto the lid and I may take it three quarters of the way across actually and I'm also going to take it under the eye. For eyeshadow I'm going to be using the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette and I picked this up in a recent Charlotte Tilbury haul. I know that a lot of you will already have this palette and some of you might even be lucky enough to have it as a gift this Christmas as part of the Pillow Talk gift set which looks absolutely sensational. Um, I am going to start by using this shade here and I'm going to take that through the crease. So this is the darkest shade in the desk look. And I'm just going to work that into the outer corner and blend it through the crease. And that's blending really nicely with the Champagne Eyes to Mesmerise shadow. I really like how all of Charlotte Tilbury shadows work really well together. And I'm going to keep working that shade until it blends out to quite a soft edge. I'm also going to take that shade under the eye on a pencil brush and just blend it into the champagne 
um, eyes to mesmerize shade that we put down earlier and I'm just bringing that up to join with the shadow on the top next I'm going to take this shade here which is the center shade on the date look and I'm going to pop that into the outer corner and I'm also blending it into that transition shade and then also a bit across the lid and I'm also working a bit of that shade into the outer edge of the lower lash line just so it all ties in together I'm then going to take the darkest shade in the date look and I'm going to work that right into the outer corner to really deepen up that edge We're also going to take a little bit into the lower lash line as well and then going back in with a blending brush just to work that darker shade into the other shadows Taking a clean fluffy brush I'm just going to go over these edges just to make sure they're soft. Charlotte Tilbury is very famous for her feline looking eyes so we're going to do a winged liner today using the feline flick and this is in the shade Panther. And this pen is actually very easy to use. That's the eyeliner now applied and I think that black winged liner has really complemented the eyeshadow. I'm going to jump off camera now and apply some of the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara and some false lashes. I'll be right back. So that's the mascara and lashes now applied. The lashes that I've used today are the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I'm sure that I've mentioned these in previous videos. Really beautiful, long, fluttery lashes and they're very good value for money. For lips today I want something a little bit darker and vampier to go with this eye look so I'm going to be using the Lip Cheat and Lipstick in Pillow Talk Medium. That's the lipstick now applied and if you are a fan of matte lipstick you could absolutely finish the lips here but if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that I do love a lip gloss and I'm going to be topping the lips with the Charlotte's Jeweled Lip in the shade Pillow Talk. I really enjoy how adding the gloss makes the lips look. I think they look a lot fuller and more juicy. Um, but above all, I find it a lot more comfortable to wear a lip gloss throughout the day rather than just a matte lipstick on its own. For blush, I'm using the Cheek to Chic in the shade Pillow Talk Intense. And I am going to be using this with a light hand because I think this shade was probably meant for deeper skin tones than mine. However, I do think it will be a beautiful blush shade nonetheless. You can make darker blush shades work on fairer skin just by going in with a very small amount. Make sure that it's very well blended but that is a beautiful colour. And I'm just going to apply a bit of the pop shade onto the apples of the cheek. I'm then going to go back in with my powder brush 
just to make sure that is really well blended with the rest of the makeup. For highlights, I'm using the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter and this was part of the 2020 Christmas collection. It is an absolutely stunning highlight, so if you haven't picked this one up already, I suggest you do so because I think it is limited edition. So this is my finished Pillow Talk evening makeup look and I think that it's been really nice to see how the Pillow Talk products can be used to create a deeper, more sultry look. I will link all of the products that I've used in today's video in the description box below just in case you want to check them out for yourself. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video guys and if you did please give it a like. If you'd like to see more videos from me please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I would love to have you back and have you join our YouTube family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Enjoy the rest of your day.